going to be launching a tasty pastry. It's a low carb pop tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs, and we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Friday, October 29th, 2021. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today is the last Friday of the month of October, so we figured that we might as well give you a few tricks and treats before you head off into the weekend, starting with this brand new update from Nathan DeAsha who's less than 24 hours away from attempting to secure career win number 10 at this weekend's inaugural KO Pro. Two weeks ago, we saw Nathan put together what was arguably the best look of his career at the Yamamoto Pro. And considering what's at stake here, it's hard to imagine him delivering anything less than his best. The man is an absolute force of nature when he's firing on all cylinders. And if peak Nathan shows up tomorrow, it means that everyone else is competing for second place. And assuming that Nathan delivers the goods tomorrow, it does beg the question, who do you see as the clear number two finisher? On one hand, we've got Samson Dauda, who's coming off his own top three finish at the Yamamoto Pro. So if he's made the right adjustments, he could comfortably slide into the number two slot. But on the other hand, we're also going to see the red hot Regan Grimes continue his hot streak only one week after delivering a big time performance at the Legion's Sports Fest. So if he's dialed in, Regan's someone who might be able to give Nathan a hard time in the first call out. I'm also going to throw three more names out there. Hassan Mustafa, Mohammed El Imam, Mohammed Shaban. All three of them, native Egyptians who are in the midst of having the best season of their respective careers. So I'm sure the fact that they're going to be competing in their home country for the first time as IFBB pros has to be the big X factor here. Besides the men's open, there's also going to be athletes in the men's physique, classic physique, and 212 on stage at the KO Pro. But for now, we're going to focus our attention on the 212 class and the potential clash of the titans in Sammy Trudy and Ahmad El Adesani. Samir's had a solid start to the contest year and came in with high hopes after putting together a strong offseason. And for one reason or another, he just hasn't been able to put it all together and return to championship form that he had a few years ago. But on the flip side, El Desani is coming off a 10th place finish at the Olympia. And I'm sure that he'd love to solidify his place as one of the best in the world in front of his home crowd by securing the win, especially if he can do it with a commanding performance. And finally, we're closing out the week by sending a very melancholy trails out to women's physique pro Jen Hernandez, who passed away this week at 59 years old. As of the time that we're recording this show, the details of her cause of death still haven't been disclosed, so we aren't going to speculate. But we will take a moment to reflect on the incredible person Jen was while she was here, and the lives she touched with her endless positivity. She was an incredible person who loved making other people smile. I know I speak for everyone who knew her in saying that she will be truly missed. Our deepest condolences go out to all of Jen's family and friends during this difficult time. Please know that you are in our thoughts and prayers. <laughs> 